Hey there guys, Quirty Afro here. Welcome to another Quirty Tries episode. Today we're going to be trying Euro fishing, or should I call it as it was called before, Dovetail Games fishing, but they decided, hey, let's just change it to Euro so we can just focus on releasing DLC that's based in Europe and not the whole world, because that might be a little too much. Maybe a bit overkill. But anyway, that's that's a that's a whole different thing. But anyway, Euro fishing. I thought it's about time I gave it a try. Because the last time I actually even touched this game was actually when it released in early access last year, around October 2014. And I tried it on a stream for like a real, like a really little bit, like probably about 20 minutes I tried it. And I didn't really like it. Obviously back then it was completely just basic. It was literally just you loading up onto just one little pond and uh, trying out some controls and trying out some little mini games. And the game has come quite far actually through its year essentially in early access it was basically a, a whole year in early access where it's been it was improved upon and uh, basically it's just to see now also the kind of like if Do like if Dovetail claims uh, can make a new game and how they've actually done the development process how they've involved uh, the community to actually like mold this game into a game that everyone kind of would love to play I haven't really been involved there. I don't know too much about all the changes and stuff that have happened during the whole year that's my that's my honest um statement there but when I played it back then I didn't really like it and I didn't give it any attention basically throughout the whole year but now I think also because I have this quite try series so it's just basically me trying all any kind of you know game maybe similar to what the games I play on my channel or even completely totally different like Star Wars and again with this series if you do like what you see like in this video like how the dynamic is with me in the game and you think, oh, maybe this could be like a mini series on my channel, or even a dedicated full on series, like, you know, Train Sim or uh, Mini Metro or, um, you know, OMSI, something like that. Then show me your interest in the comments by telling me if this could work maybe as a little series, or maybe it just probably won't, and it'll just be like this one off video, and that's why, like, I made this kind of quite a try series. So I could try multiple things, and then if you, if you guys like it, then we can continue it and actually have it as a little bit of a regular on the channel. But. I thought it was about time I gave Eurofishing a go because now it's actually a fully released game. It's out of early access. I do believe it came, it, the release was somewhere in November, I do believe. I can't remember end of November. I'm not too sure. But it came out very recently as a full game. And I'm very interested to see how it is because obviously this is uh, Dovetail Games' first game in the Unreal Engine 4. And in a way, when I when it came out and when I kind of saw it was an Unreal Engine 4, I was like, okay, this is maybe something we need to look into to kind of see of maybe how the train the next generation of train simulator might be molded because obviously this is their this is basically their team uh building stuff up in unreal engine 4 let's see how this game kind of fares and maybe that might reflect on how train sim will look like so i don't know we'll see um you know i, I don't know what to expect with this game i haven't really played anything of it so this i'm completely going fresh into this and i hope you guys enjoy what we get up to in this video and maybe we might carry on or might not we just might leave it here and just call you know you're fishing that's it <laughs> the shout outs for this video do go to gary williams and phoenix that's again gary williams and phoenix their links and stuff will be down below show them some of those with the videos so i've loaded up here into euro fishing <laughs> and um we need to make a character which is you know okay that's cool it'd be cool to you know make a character in train sim i guess you know just to have that kind of whole thing of just like you know having a character having a profile in a way instead of just having a very bland one right now on train sim uh let's see we have male one male two male three male four male five six okay and then we just go straight up the uh the color the coloring chart basically up the color spectrum to uh the blackest you can get of the skin color which and then it's just like one more there's no real difference except for the shirt and then you go into the females so already i can't really pick one for myself because there's nothing really that relate like if i wanted to pick a character based on myself i can't really pick anything because there's nothing in the middle like you know because obviously i'm mixed race i'm not on the very light spectrum but i'm not on the very darkest of the spectrum so already that's a thing that i'm not really happy about they i hope they extend this a bit because this is just a bit like plain it's just there's a lot of white models quite a lot and there's not even a black woman <laughs> like I'm, I'm pretty sure there's you know one or two black girls that play this game 
I'm sure there is, maybe. I don't know if they're annoyed about this. But, you know what? I'm going to break the mold and I'm going to just pick a female because, you know what? Because I can. I'm going to pick her because she's wearing blue jeans and that looks nice. The other one's just... Okay, whatever. This this woman just looks really grumpy. I'm going to pick female too. And um, we're going to call her... Qwerty... Qwerty... Well, we'll call it Qwerty Afro. Or just like Quatina. <laughs> Quatina Afro, there we go, to make it feminine. So it looks like here you have points as well, you have some sort of points, TP, and we're level 1, and we're rank Novice Carp Angler. Uh, you can also notice that some of these things, like press E and stuff like that, I kind of noticed that this is very, very kind of designed for, uh, for controller use, and I don't really, I like that it's, you know, it's obviously kind of, go out there to kind of be more comfortable for controller users but I, I hate that it's not like as well like you know for mouse users like I get you can click and use the keyboard and stuff like that but I hate that you can't press you can't click on things you have to actually press something on the keyboard which I find a bit annoying like I just want to click it if I can you know and already first thing we're, we're you know presented with is float pack DLC <laughs> you know you know how they in train sim they have the kind of like the loading screen as just DLC stuff now already <laughs> chucked into the game I haven't even started playing and I'm already thrown in with like something to buy or something to look forward to with some content or whatever not good signs already <laughs> anyway we are here and we have some invigorating music some very calm mellow kind of yoga music in a way quite nice actually it's a bit more pleasant than train sims one so welcome to Euro Fishing. Uh, we have kind of things to do. I'm just going to go through kind of stuff because obviously this is my first time going into the game so I want to, you know, get used to stuff. I can see here at the top right we have like this kind of cool profile kind of thing uh, which you can't click on to see anything but then we have we have home here. Welcome to Euro Fishing and have like Academy. Discover everything you need to know about Master Angler. So I guess that's where you learn to kind of fish. You can just go fishing if you just want the pure fishing experience. So a bit of like a sandbox I guess. Have tournaments which sound interesting so you can just like you know I, what I've been guessing and what I've actually been watching of Euro fishing like in terms of some like some like the multiplayer it's just like you you compete with people with points or something like that so I guess it is I like the kind of fact that there's like these kind of comp this kind of competition and then you can get like points and XP and stuff like that I think that's really cool in a way that looks pretty cool I have to say. I don't know. I'm not going to go to any competitions or whatever. I'm not, I haven't even started fishing yet. And then you have the multiplayer, which you can just go and find a map. I don't know if it's a multiplayer where you see other people or if it's just that you see their points or whatever. I'm not too sure. But we, if we even continue this game into like, you know, a series or whatever, we might sometime in the future have a look at the multiplayer. I don't know, but we'll see. Uh, game modes. We have the single player, which tournaments challenges freedom fishing okay and then we have obviously the academy and then the multiplayer I don't get why you have to have two pages to show the exact kind of same thing but okay uh, well I guess the home just shows all your kind of options spread out and then game modes just a little bit it's a bit like it goes back and then you have to go forward to kind of see your options I don't know Profile, which probably we don't even have much stuff on because I haven't even started fishing. Um, interesting. I like the kind of setup. I like the kind of look at the game. It's very simple and it just looks nice. It looks kind of modern and fresh and I like how this is kind of all presented in a way. It looks nice to me. Angler's log. So once you like start fishing and you can just see what kind of, kind of fish you get and stuff like that. And then you have like all these, oh, well you have the different lakes. So these are the kind of, instead of them being routes for like in Train Simulator, in Neurofishing they're just, you know, they're lakes. Uh, I think that's pretty much it. Tackle box. So, and this is, oh, so you can have your own kind of like custom layout. So like, you know, in Call of Duty you have your own create a class. Well, this is create a tackle box, essentially. And you have the fishing rod, you have you know rigs and stuff like that so what like what type of kind of thing you put at the end of the line uh, for it to uh, like you can have a hook that just drops down or this kind of waggler which actually just floats on the top different types of bait you know kind of stuff I, I I've actually done fishing in real life I haven't done really too much complex like stream fishing or whatever I've done like when I go to Croatia and see the family I've done some uh, open cast kind of fishing mainly not for fish I've, I've actually caught 
I haven't actually done any kind of major fishing for fish, I've only done fishing for squid, which is just like open cast and uh, you have to do it really specifically in the night time with a bit of light and that kind of thing in a way. And uh, I've done a bit of that uh, in my time and I've been quite enjoyed it. So I do know my bits about fishing, but not, not a heavy expert on it if you know what I mean. This is the tackle shop, which looks pretty cool that there's some sort of in-game currency, I guess, this with these TP points where you can buy, like, hooks, um, well, different kind of, like, uh, different kind of rods and stuff like that. You can even buy the uh, gears and stuff, which is pretty in-depth, I have to say. Uh, different, well, wow, different lines as well, different, you know, that's pretty cool. Uh, other than that, and different baits and stuff like that, I would guess. That's pretty cool. So that that's that's quite nice, I have to say. Quite a nice thing. That's quite a lot, actually, to unlock, it looks like. So the tackle shop looks very detailed. With quite a lot of stuff to get. You have to kind of, you know, scan around this, in a way. Um, and then settings. I kind of found the settings a bit plain and a little bit... Like, there's not... Like, see here in the graphical settings, you only have... Low, medium, high, and ultra. There's nothing really to adjust. Like you know, you'd think for a game of today, you would have little things to kind of adjust to like customize it. But there's only just presets, which is a bit annoying. And other than that, it's pretty much all kind of explanatory stuff or whatever. So, what do I want to do in Quite Tries Euro Fishing? Um, let's let's have, let's first have a look where we could actually fish. There's the main observatory map. Which I think we've all seen since the yeah, since the game came out in early access. Uh, just you know the plain kind of map like there. You have Larina. You have Digger Lake, uh, Saint John's Lake, and Presa del Monte Bravo, which looks really nice. Looks very exotic actually. Those are the five lakes that there is, and those are the five environments that you can fish in currently in your fishing. I'm guessing, obviously, there's going to be extra DLC and add-on content that will allow you to fish in more environments and stuff like that. That's the only logical kind of way I can see it, if they're going to be adding that. It'd be cool to see some free content uh, put in, like some free maps and stuff like that would be nice, hopefully. But I don't know, I, I haven't really, like, been too involved in the Euro fishing kind of, like, you know... Uh, you know, cycle of the game, so I don't know too much about it. So I'm a very, I'm, this, I'm fresh eyes to this game, in a way. I think first, let's um, should we do some of these? I guess just to kind of see what we're kind of dealing with here. I kind of think, yeah. Let's do the basics. Let's see what we're getting involved around. Welcome to the Dovetail Games Fishing Academy. It's a beautiful day here at the water's edge of the observatory lake. There's a slight breeze blowing across the water and the conditions are perfect to learn the key skills you'll need to successfully catch fish no matter where you're fishing. Okay. In this first lesson, I'm going to take you through the basics of Dovetail Games Fishing. Later, we'll talk about targeting the right location using... Okay, I've had enough of you. So, already graphics... Before the lesson starts, oh, have a walk around and get used to the controls. Okay, thank you. Um... Graphics, I have to say, pretty nice. Uh, this is Unreal Engine 4, and Unreal Engine 4 does not disappoint. It looks gorgeous. Like the trees, look at that. I can just imagine train sim in this. Well, I really can. Looks like you got the hang of it, which is good. Otherwise, it would have been a long day. Okay, well, okay, I guess that was sort of witty, but. WSD is nothing really to kind of joke around with. We've got a number of pegs on this lake for you to set up your gear. You should be able to spot a peg by looking for a sign like this. For now, let's claim this peg and get your gear ready for fishing. Okay, will do. When you claim a peg, it's yours. No one else can fish from the same peg as long as your gear is in it. Bear in mind though, if you walk too far away and leave your peg unattended, We'll remove your equipment and allow someone else to claim it. Okay, so yeah, I'm in multiplayer, I guess, then you can interact with other people and people can just, like, put their pegs down or whatever. Move to the way... I am at the wave point. Can I jump in the water? Oh, no, I can't. That would have been entertaining. I am at the wave point. Okay, go. Yeah, okay, I want to claim it's it. it's time to talk about your fishing tackle. Your rig and bait are just two of the tools in your arsenal to catch fish. 
Choosing the right rig and bait combination is essential to catching carp. When yes. you're holding a rod, you can change your rig and bait by simply opening your inventory and choosing new ones. Really? We'll explain okay. how different setups work in another lesson. For now, just change your rig and bait to whatever you like the sound of. The sound of? It shouldn't be the look of? Like, do, do, do you know the rigs and whatever just sound different, really? <laughs> uh, let's open up our inventory. So we have... Um, well, we don't really have Close anything. Your inventory when you're happy with the tackle options you've chosen. Well, there's nothing really to choose. I just have one bait, which is white, uh, white bread flakes, and some. Uh, well, I just have two different hooks, really. I just have a. It's just they're pretty much the stiff. There's basically stiff, a stiff rig size 12 and a braided hair rig size 12. Um, I don't know really what the difference is here. Let's go with braided. Let's go with actually no. Let's go with the braided hair. Let's close it. Right. Right. You've claimed your peg and you've got your end tackle set up. Next, I'm going to talk you through how you cast in dovetail games fishing. I think I know how to Start do that. Start off by walking up to the front of the peg. When you're near the edge of the water, you should be able to open the bail arm, hold the line, and get into a casting position. Okay. Okay. Ooh. With the line right. held, you want to pull the rod back until the lead is behind you. But remember, keep the line held or the bait will drop. Will do. So you pull back with the mouse. I would have to admit that probably this kind of now would feel better you with a controller. Straight, push the rod forward. This is the action you'll need to master when performing a long range cast. So have a practice swing to get used to the motion. Okay. So I'm holding the mouse now. So like if I, if I push up the mouse and I'm, I'm holding the right mouse button, it won't actually lose. So I'm just getting a little bit of practice. Some, you know, you know, back and strike, back and strike, back and strike, back and strike. Oh, what was it, that film? It was uh, the Goofy movie, wasn't it? Where uh, Goofy was telling his son how to do the uh, the perfect pose where he used to go, it's like back, uh, spindle or whatever, and then release. <laughs> that's, that's the thing that kind of reminds me of it. Anyway, let's... Uh Okay, now you've had a bit of practice, let's try a proper cast. Okay, cool. Again, pull the rod back until the lead is behind you. Now this time, when you push the rod forward, you want to release the line at the right time to get a decent cast. Have a go and see if you can cast over 15 meters. If you don't hit 15 meters on your first go, reel in and try again. Cool, I'll do that. Okay, here we go, here we go. And... Was that 15 meters? No. No, it wasn't. You can gauge the bed type by feeling the vibration through the rod when the bait hits the lake bed. Okay. Knowing what you're fishing over is essential. You'll want to use rigs and baits that are better suited to the particular bed type. Okay, so each bed type, okay. Wait, did I do, f no, I did 28 yards. Unfortunately, the fish aren't biting at the moment, so let's reel it in and call it a day. Okay, can I read it in? I can wave a stick. It's like a magic wand. Alright, pull it up. Top stuff. We're all done for today. In this lesson, we've shown you how to claim a peg, perform an overarm cast, and how to reel in your line. Okay, thank you, mate. I don't really need the... I think I get the gist of this. I know the kind of controls. What's this? Fish on. Want to know how to reel a big fish? In this session, you'll be shown how to reel a big fish. I think I'm gonna. I'm going to leave these. I don't think. Um, I don't think I need this. If, if I continue this as a series on the channel, we might revisit some of these, uh, like, more advanced uh, tutorials or whatever. But for now, let's. Uh, let's go fishing. Let's go to one of these lakes. Uh, Let's go to the arena. Is a popular venue for carp anglers, pleasure fishermen, and match uh, and match anglers due to its high stock level or species, as well as relaxing location to keep in the French countryside. Let's go here. And then, what's cool with the session kind of settings is you can change the day. So let's do somewhere like in the afternoon, like two o'clock. Uh, day. You can change the kind of day kind of cycle thing, and then. Simulation speed, you can do one day is one hour. One day is 24 hours. Oh, wow, you can actually do like a proper simulation of it. 
Well, that's crazy. One day is two hours, one day is four hours. Okay, we're just going to do one day is an hour. Conditions. Uh, yeah, we could do random. Wind speed on, yeah. Default tackle box because we only have really one. We don't really have anything else. We haven't unlocked anything too much. Uh, uh, arena. Select. Long day. I think that's all good. Yeah, let's, let's give it a play. What I like also is that in the loading screens, actually, there's no kind of like... DLC. I, be I bet you this will be the plug-in now for the DLC once they get the DLCs going in this map. And then once we load into like kind of the map, this kind of map area, we have uh, like we can choose spawn points, and it shows you where all the peg locations are where you can sit and fish or whatever. And then you can like you know you can you can spawn in anywhere. Let's spawn in somewhere like here and see how that goes. Oh wow, that was quite quite uh, quite quick with the loading time. Anyway, look at the detail of this. It's pretty pretty, I have to say. Look at that. Like, it's quite a nice world that they've built here in Eurofishing, I have to say that. There is... I can't argue with that. It, it looks pretty. Like, look at the grass. Look at the ground. Look at these reeds and stuff like that. Can I walk in... Oh, can, I can walk in the reeds. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. She's been decapitated by reeds. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> It would be nice if they did move out the way when I walk through it, but still, it does look pretty. Let's use this fishing peg here and see if we can do some actual fishing. So, we have to claim the peg with E. So, I've kind of like put my chair here. Like, it's all professional here. It's, it's, it's brilliant. Look, I have a little kind of like mat or whatever. Like, I have my little bucket to put my fish in, I'm guessing. Or is that for like bait? I'm, I'm not even too sure. But I like the kind of little setup here. It's like my little camping area. I quite like it. Anyway, uh, let's. Well, I guess we just cast essentially. We kind of um, look around. I like this kind of lake. It's kind of like a circular lake. It's kind of weird, but kind of funny in a way. Let's uh, let's do a little bit of a cast. Let's actually see what we can do. Oh, actually, no. Wait. Oh, that's a short cast. Oh, so you can. Oh wow, no, I didn't want to drop it in. Why are you dropping in like that? Nothing is gonna. Nothing's gonna come. Right, let's have a look at the inventory. So we have we have the white bread flakes and we have the um, we have the blood worm. Uh, let's have a look at what the blood worm can do. I'm gonna actually put it onto a uh, a waggler to see like with it floating to see how what what we can get with that. Uh, I think that should be all right. Yeah, we got a waggler and we got the floating arm. So let's uh, cast it now. Do a long cast. We don't want a short cast. Let's uh, hold back now and. Let it go. Oh, that, ooh, that was a bit aggressive. Now let's uh, see what we can do here. Let's see if we can catch us a fish. Oh. Oh. Oh no. I think we dropped one. I can see this. I can see. I could see this being a very peaceful, um, peaceful simulator. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, and it and it buckled off. I like that she pants as well. She's like, oh, bloody hell. Perform a strike, quickly pull. Oh, okay. I thought I, I, like, I thought I was going to pull up, but I thought then. Okay, I think there's a fish on it. No, there's no fish on it. Right. Let's see if we get a bite now, which I doubt that we will. Oh! Really? <sighs> Wait, can we just can we put? Uh, can we get rid of this striking thing? It's just bugging out the kind of thing. Right, let's um. Okay, that didn't really go well. I really need to practice this a bit more. Right. No, that 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 didn't work either. Right, I'm not really a pro at fishing, it seems, so I don't know if we're going to even catch a fish in this episode, so let's, uh... Oh, that was quite a good strike, I have to say. I mean, what was like a strike? A thing. I don't know. I have to learn times for fishing. Don't judge me. Right. Stop panting, I get your point. 
Oh, I can change the strength as well of the f of the thing. Hold on. Read it in a bit, so we don't have too much loose loose thread or whatever you call ribbon. Damn it! Right, back again. We reel. Let's um, do this side of the lake. Let's see if this side of the lake has has any luck. Come on, we can do this. We can. We need to get a fish this episode. We have to. I know you can do it. Oh no! It was too late there. Right. Try again. Let's do it a little bit, a little bit gentler this time. As soon as I see it pull, I'm gonna, I'm gonna strike it. I think that's what. Oh, I think we got something. I think we got something. Come on, girl. Come on. Yep. Come on. Come on. So, oh, so I have to control the net. Oh, I got it. Oh my god, we got first fish. It's quite small. I'm pretty surprised that that managed to really overthrow me, but <laughs> I caught a fish, guys. Yes. <laughs> we did it. Oh my god. Um, so we caught a roach. Look at that. Look at that. She's modeling the fish beautifully. Oh, excellent. Toggle info. Oh, so I can sh shuffle. Wait, what's that? Oh, okay. Oh, look. <laughs> well, because Matt Pedelson's uh, on my friends list and he plays this, I can see what he's done also. But I've caught a one limb fish, uh, one pound fish, or is that limb? Or I don't, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know measurements and stuff like that. An 11 ounce fish. He caught a 14 ounce fish, or 13 pound fish. I don't know. But I've caught a fish. I think that's like you know. Accomplish accomplishment for the actual episode that I actually caught a fish. Um, right, that's all good. Right, let's wait. What? You, oh, you, oh, you were just. Oh, that's right. You're just you're le you're letting it go. Oh, that's nice. So I'm guessing if I I think further in the further tutorials you can actually do multiple lines, so you can just you know. Do, drop a few here, walk off, have a little bit of a walk, maybe come around, sit here on the bench. I guess would be nice. I'm not too sure. Let's walk around. Let's have a let's have a look at some of the other peg positions and see if we can get any kind of. Well, oh, look at these graphics are great. Warning: You're about to leave the peg boundary. All pegged rods will be stored in your inventory. Oh, that's fine. I don't mind. You can change it. Look at these graphics, though. The, the scenery is just so beautiful. I can just spend here. I can just basically walk around. Basically, I don't need to fish. Fishing's overrated. This is beautiful. Water graphics are nice. I definitely have to say the b the b best thing about this game is it is it is really really pretty. Really really pretty. But if you guys definitely want me to continue this into like a, a, a kind of series on the channel, then please let me know, and uh, I'll just try and get better at my kind of fishing skills essentially. Which um, uh, it will take more than a few episodes for me to even get the proper hang of it. But you know, look at this. Look at the rocks. This is all beautiful, really. I like it. I, like in my Semarang Barn video, I was saying about how the rocks are nice and train some, but these are like on some next level because this is obviously Unreal Engine 4. And where's the sun? Actually, oh, oh look at the sun. <gasps> it's beautiful. Right, let's uh, let's get on this next peg right here. Let's do a little bit more fishing before you retire this video. Or maybe we might even have a look at a bit of the multiplayer or something like that. Right, let's claim this peg. Um, let's 
try let's try some white bread flakes and see what we get with white bread flakes um, let's do that oh that was a bad cast right Right, I see some disturbances there in the in the force, <laughs> in the water. Is it the the bigger the number, the stronger or lighter or looser the kind of pull or whatever? I'm not too sure. Let's see what we can get with the white bread flakes. I'm seeing no real kind of interference with the hook right now with with white bread flakes. Maybe the blood worms are just a bit more easier to get, like fish that are probably swimming near the near the uh, the uh, top of the water than at the bottom. Probably maybe try and use a hook would be a good idea. Yeah, I don't think this is working. Nothing really is uh, working with this. But isn't this just peaceful? I could just like take my hands off the controller and she just didn't admire. Nice, nice backing kind of sounds and nice kind of you know really nice game to look at in a way. I think that's I think the thing the most thing I'm enjoying about actually playing this is it's a really nice game to look at and it's definitely come a long long way from when I played it last year in early access. Right, let's pull that in. I don't think we're going to get anything with that. Right, uh, let's have a look at... Okay, let's try maybe a hook and see if we can do that. Uh, let's close. Again, I'm not really happy with the whole kind of thing where I have to actually press something on the keyboard. I, I really wish I could just click it to close. Just that option would be really nice. Just, you know... Oh Jesus Christ, that was so bad. Right, silk can cover your bait on the bottom of the lake. Try using a rig that suits just above the silk bed. Can I... But then what can I use the hook for then? Oh, there's like some sort of plane. Right, I don't think this one does anything, really. Right, let's just pull this one up. Let's try it again with the blood worm. I think that's the, the thing that we were having the best kind of luck with. Oh, we can see that the actual day, the day is actually running out. You can actually see. That's really cool. It's getting to night time, which is very interesting. You can tell. Look at the darkness and the stuff change. That's really nice. I, I wonder if there's like any lights or anything, or like lanterns that come on maybe in the night. Oh, that was quite nice, I have to say. Right, let's hope for the best with this. See if we can get a slightly bigger fish, which would be cool. Move my rod around, try and look pro. Pull that a little bit. One thing I'm not too liking also with a graphical kind of thing is if you look at the shadows that are being projected on her like back, on my on my character's back, that kind of like they're not they don't flow they kind of like st like you know statically move which I'm not really happy about oh hello ah oh. damn that almost had something there I see some activity there I'm gonna reel back and let's, let's go over there it's quite good right come on let's get one more before we End this video. Right. Oh, there's some fish over there. Come on. That was a poor strike again. Come on. You can do this. Oh. Come on. This is like a small fish. It shouldn't be taking. It's probably a small fish. Come on, and drop the, there we go, nicely got it. <gasps> it's not a roach, it's it's something else. What's this? Okay, you can stop modeling the fish. This is a tench, and I got 15 XP and 42 points with it. Um, like, somewhere through level 2, which is pretty cool. And that was slightly heavier than the one before, I do believe. Do believe it was slightly heavier. I'm not too sure, but I caught another fish. I think that's pretty cool. 
Anyway, wow, look at this. I love, look at it, it's, oh, it's getting, it's quite, can I like, like set up a, like a, you know, oh, what's this? Oh. Wait, what's that? What's that? So that's unassigned. Oh, okay. Oh, so I have like a different rod or something like that. Okay, so you can press tab and actually... Ah. Pick up rod. Okay, so that's like if you want to check. Oh, like if you have multiple robs, you can. Okay, yeah, that makes that makes perfect sense. Can I like sit down as well? That would be cool if I could. I don't know. Maybe when I cast an ID, but on the peg or something like that, that would be cool. But I don't know what else this is all for. But who knows? You can't unfortunately jump into the pond. I've tried that, and I tried walking into the water. It just doesn't allow you, which is sad. But hey. I don't know if you get like some sort of lanterns as I was saying, it would be really cool, like I don't know how how can you actually see what you're doing now in the uh, in the actual pond or whatever, I don't know. Anyway, let's uh, exit back to the main menu, see what else is there quickly, I think uh, we're getting to quite a lengthy part of this video, but anyway it is quite a tries your fishing, so I'm just giving you the kind of overview of what's what. Can we buy anything from the tackle shop? Uh, how much money do we have? We have 370. We can buy Core the Sweet Corn, uh, which is good for so sinking corn, perfect hook bait for fishing over particles or on its own. Each grain is fl flavor. It's flavor actually molded into plastic rather than simple soaked in, which means. Okay. I like that. I like there's like different companies and stuff like that, which is really nice. You can get this kind of hook or whatever. I don't know. If this does continue as a series, we'll see for like buying more stuff or whatever, but for now I'm not gonna really go into too much of it. Could try multiplayer. Could try it. We can could try multiplayer very, very quickly. It'd be very naughty. I would have ended the video here, but let's let's try it. I wanna I wanna see how it works. And then I think we'll end the video. And then if you guys want to see more of this on the channel, please like show me your interest in the comments down below tell me if you think it would be good as like maybe a little mini series or even a regular series like something like mini retro just playing it'll just be titled playing euro fishing and then i'll just release an episode here and there or whatever just you know my little kind of ventures of just building up my profile on euro fishing would you like to see that i'm kind of into i kind of dig this game i think it's it's i think it's pretty cool like i love i, I wonder I, I kind of want it to grow on me a bit though in a way if you know what I mean, I, you know, I, I, I'm, obviously this is my first time really getting into it since the last time I played it, which was last year. Okay. I wonder if anyone knows who I am here. They might be like, quite Yafro, you're in our game, you're playing Eurofishing. I thought you only played Train Sim. It'd be so funny, I did some, like, if I do some, like, future Eurofishing, uh, videos and, uh, people are like, oh, quite Yafro's here. <laughs> And then everyone's going to be like, on your Euro, <laughs> Euro fishing, and trying to find Quiet Yafro. But do I actually see people around here, or is it just like their name comes up and we can like chat and whatever? I'm not too sure. Should I go hunting for them? Or can I see them from here? I don't know. Let's see if I can try and, let's set up first a peg here and just uh, see if I can catch anything and actually, you know, put myself on the leaderboard, which would be a good thing. Did I just put like a map down? Okay. Um, can I? Uh, let's go back on into inventory. I'm gonna stick with the uh, the. I'm gonna stick with the uh, the the waggler, the floating kind of bed type kind of thing, and then a, and then bloodworm really because that's the kind of thing. The only thing I've kind of uh, caught any fish on. Anyway, let's. Um, Ooh, what a cost. Right. There doesn't seem to be quite a lot of activity. Bite alarm. The bite alarm has been triggered. Pick up your rod as quickly as possible. There might be a fish. Oh, so that's if you put down your rod. Oh. Interesting. How do you put down your rod, though? 
can I? <gasps> There's another person. Oh snap! So I can see other people in this. Let's put that one down. What is this? Is this like another one? Let's see if I can cast this one. I don't even know what the hell's at the end of this one. Oh Jesus! Wow. Um. There we go. You can, I'll just leave you there, even though I doubt. Wait, what? What? Uh, why am I looking there? Uh, okay, this is a bit odd. Can I drop my robbed, please? Okay, I'm kind of a little bit confused here. I don't know what the hell just happened there in terms of, uh, in terms. Oh shit! I have a tent. Can I go in it? That's cool. I guess that's where I spend my nights, basically. If I'm a really dedicated fisher. Anyway, there's someone over there. I just wanna... How do I just drop this? I just wanna drop it, really. Right. Um... I'm just gonna reel this in, because, I don't know, something kind of just went wrong there when I left it and then went back for it. Let's, um... Let's just, uh... Okay, that was a really bad cast, but what can you do? Can I just get some... Oh, there's a fish over there. Go, just reading it back in, and uh, we're going to go over there. Where the fish nicely came, and... There we go. I think we've got the kind of area where we might see the fish. No one's recognized me. No one knows who I am in the Eurofishing community. I'm happy about that. <laughs> Stone BW8 balls. You don't know who you're fishing with. <laughs> Look, I can see I can see a uh, stone over there. I'm going to go and say hello to him in a, just a sec. I really want to catch a fish though, but they seem to not be liking this bait. Which is annoying. Anyway, let's just let's leave that there. Let's go and walk around. Let's leave our bait there. Hopefully um something will come of it. Let's walk around, let's go and have a look at, um, wow, the foliage and stuff is just so beautiful. Losing a peg. Oh, I don't care. Stone, where are you? Oh, I like a little setup here. Exactly the same as mine, but I like it. Wow, look at him. He's pro. He has, like, free rods. Jesus. But I like this. Look at this. This is multiplayer. Like, we're all here in the same instance. They're all fishing. I'm attempting to fish over there somehow. But look at them. They're fishing. That's a, another human being right there with me. You know, in a Dovetail Games. In a Dovetail Games game. Well, actually, you know, a lie. Well, FSX has more with her. But, could this be like Train Simulator? Could we have this kind of thing in Train Simulator in Unreal Engine 4? Yes, please. <laughs> anyway. He doesn't really seem to notice that I'm here. Can I walk in front of him? No, I can't. Better bait through research. <laughs> okay, I'm going, mate. You don't seem to be too interested in me. I'm going to go back to my peg and see if maybe I got a fish, which I doubt I do, but, you know, it's always good to be a bit hopeful. But man, this this world is... Oh, I just love the look of... Oh, there's a bite alarm on my... Uh... Wait. Is my, was my peg here? Oh no, my peg disappeared. Then why, am, why do I have a bite alarm? Um, can I set up here? Okay, no, I can't set up here. I think it was here that I had it set up. There we go. E crane peg. Okay. Oh, that was so bad. Pull that back up. Right. One more time. See if we can try and get a fish. Right. 
Leave it there, let it do its thing naturally. There's not gonna be a lot of waiting in this game, I see. Like it's not just like, you know, straightforward get results. But I see this kind of bait doesn't seem to work anymore. Not on this lake though. That's what that's one thing I'm kind of realizing. This lake doesn't seem to be uh working for this for this bait. No. I don't think I have any fish here. Is there any fish over there? I'm trying to see if there's any kind of activity in the lake. Doesn't seem to be any, really. No. Let's see if we can get something over there. Oh, what a cast. Oh, what a cast. Just leave that to cook a bit. Press enter to type a message and Z to toggle the chat off. Hey guys. Uh, oh look. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> At least they're not like one of those kind of multiplayer communities where they don't say anything or they're just like, you know, stupid. Alright, let's pull this a bit in. Seems to be no activity in this um in this lake. It's a bit unfortunate, but hey, what can you do? No, there doesn't seem to be any kind of activity actually. Or maybe I just picked the wrong side. Or maybe wrong bait. Should we try the uh breadcrumbs and the hook? We can try that. Give that a go. I think. Into inventory. Let's change that to that, and that to that, and let's give this a go. Let's get into the reeds. Maybe that we might get some. Oh Jesus, that was so bad. Oh wow, that was so bad. Uh, weed beds make it easier for fish to escape. Try using a rig that suits the weed bed. Uh. Well, okay, that means I guess I can't fish with this. I don't get what you would use this hook for then. Like, what's the best kind of place to use it for, like, low, you know, near seabed kind of fishing, or whatever? I'm, I'm not too sure. I guess I can't catch anything with this. That guy's catching fish. I want to catch fish. Right, let's give. Or maybe, should I try the, um, should I try the blood worm, maybe? Let's give that a go. And let's uh, see if we can get over there where. This is going to have to. This is going to be a good cast. No, that wasn't a good cast. We'll go back to the floater, I think. Go back to the floater. Floater and bloodworm. And just basically pray that we get. So oh, whoa. Oh, match is complete. Oh, well. I tried to get something, I guess, but hey, what can you do? <laughs> but anyway, that's the multiplayer. It's quite a bit of fun of what it was, but I enjoyed it. And, um, yeah. We'll just uh, go back to the main menu now because I think we're pretty much done with this episode of Quirky Tries Euro Fishing. Um, I don't know, what do you guys think? Um, you know. Obviously, there's things I haven't done. I haven't completed most of the academy. Uh, we haven't looked at all the lakes, and we have, you know, we could do more stuff in multiplayer. Uh, okay. Uh, there's like tournaments and stuff. So, if you guys like this, you know, this Quirky Tries Euro Fishing, if you like the kind of dynamic with Euro Fishing, and you think that this could be something you would like to see more from the channel, please again. Uh, and this is why Quirky Tries was made, like, just for me to branch out into different things. And please, if you would like to see it as, like, maybe a mini-series or just something kind of like a regular, like, series. Uh, if, if it does continue, I'll probably just call it something like playing Euro Fishing and just do a few episodes here and there. If you'd like to see more of it, please, in the comments down, uh, comment section down below, please tell me your thoughts, your opinions. Do you think it works? Maybe you might not be too fond of the kind of, you know, this kind of idea, but... 
maybe tell me it might work in some sort of way if I change something up a bit I don't know have like a challenge in it or something like that and I'm, I'm not too sure or would you just like to see the kind of progression with my profile on this um, on this game because I kind of like it I kind of you know I, I kind of could make a series out of this I think I could get into this I can get into the kind of fishing thing and I have to say at the beginning when Dovetail Games actually said that they were gonna make a game based on fishing I was a bit like Oh god, what are they doing? They've got it all wrong. But it's a nice game. It's very niche. It's super niche. I think this is even more niche than Train Simulator because even though fishing is very, you know, it's a very popular kind of hobby kind of activity to do in real life, uh, as a game, I don't really see it fitting. Like Train Simulator, I understand because there's loads of train enthusiasts and people want to play with trains. But fishing is something more people can do in real life themselves, in a way. So a game is is something when I heard when they were like there's not a lot of fishing games and there's like even that fishing world thing which is free to play on Steam so that's like you know quite a com quite in competition with your fishing, but I kind of like this game. I, I I don't know about you guys. Tell me your thoughts and opinions. Maybe I'm completely off the ball and this is a terrible game, but for what I'm playing with it, it it feels like a nice little game to play. You know here and there, but I don't know. Would you like? Would you guys like to see it continue on the, on the channel? Please tell me down below. I'd love to hear your opinions. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this. It, it, we've we've like reached up to like 50 minutes or whatever. It's quite a long video. But anyway, I, I wanted to do... I didn't want to just like do something like quick little 15 minute thing and just leave you guys without any kind of like, you know, good look through this game. I think I did mostly what I wanted to do, I guess. I showed you mostly everything. Well, not everything, but... I showed you a bit of Academy, one of the uh, kind of tutorial styles, the free roam fishing, and a bit of the multiplayer as well. So I think I showed every kind of, and except for the live tournament. But again, if you want to see this continue, comment down in the section below, tell me what you think, and uh, we'll see if this could be a little regular on the channel. I don't know. And then we'll just see how this game kind of fares and how the DLC structure will kind of fare with this game because obviously that's what Dovetail Game are probably going to do or I don't know how else they're going to do it. Hopefully free packs and stuff maybe. Who knows. But I have to say I kind of like this game and I kind of like the appearance. I kind of like so far how the kind of gameplay works and how the kind of structuring of the profile and the and the XP points and the uh, actual in-game currency which I kind of like and if if anything if this is how like what we have to base on for the Unreal Engine 4 for Train Sim I'm kind of sort of liking where this is going but again Train Sim is a completely different ball in the park so we don't know where this will be going but anyway I hope you guys have enjoyed Quirky Tries Euro Fishing. Again, comment down a uh, comment section below is where you need to go if you want to tell me your thoughts and opinions of how this this video kind of felt to you, and if you would want me to continue it as a series on the channel. So, other than that, the shouts again go to Gary Williams and Phoenix. That's again Gary Williams and Phoenix. Their links and stuff will be down below. And um, I rather enjoy this Quirky Tries series. I also did this as well as a kind of thing to kind of. You know, wish everyone also a happy new year because this probably be my last video of 20, uh, 2015. And also kind of a video for resolutions for the channel. In a way, I want to start making more quality tries kind of videos and just getting new kind of things to see if any kind of new kind of dynamics can work on the channel. Instead of just sticking with the same kind of things I've always stuck with. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you guys have a lovely uh, new years with your families or whatever or friends. And um, I hope everyone had a blast in 2015, and I hope we can have a even bigger blast in 2016 uh, with the channel. And uh, just thank you guys for just like an amazing year. It's been great. Uh, I don't really, I'm sort of the person that just you know goes out and shouts thank you all the time and whatever. But I'm just gonna say it, thank you for a great year. It's been lovely to have new subscribers come in, and just uh, it's just been great making this content for you guys. And I hope to do more in 2016, and I hope to, you know, uh, just entertain you even more. Uh, that's basically it. But other than that, you know, I've had a good 2015. Uh, well, <laughs> good and bad, I'd say. It's not perfect, but, you know. Uh, but overall, it was a great year on the channel, and um, I hope we can have uh, an even better year in 2016. So, I hope you guys have a lovely New Year's Eve, New Year's Day, and uh, I'll see you in 2016 for the next video. Bye guys. We ain't